Hey, it's your friend CJ here, and I am back with another episode of my Tales of Symphonia Let's Play. Been having a blast with this so far. Uh, this is one of my, oops, excuse me, dropped my controller. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time, and it just recently came to Steam, and it's been really cool. So when we left off last time, we had just went to the town of Palma Costa. There was a, oh, let's listen a little more to see what they have to say. Wait, who am I supposed to talk to? Hmm, what is it? Uh, nothing. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, we went to Papa Costa, and we found out there was a group of people that were impersonating us. And, well, that's, I guess, you know, nice and all. You know, flattery is, or, uh, imitation is the best form of flattery, or something like that. The problem is, is that they've been stealing uh, some important artifacts that we've been wanting, namely the Book of Regeneration. And the Book of Regeneration tells us the location of uh, the, all the seals that we're trying to we unlock, which is going to be really important as we go on this uh, journey of Book of Regeneration. We will need to figure that out. Uh, so now we're going to try to track them down. And, uh, like kind of go north from Palma Costa and see where we can uh, see where we can uh, find this place. We don't, you know, die in the time because we're getting wrecked by these ladybugs. Oh, it's the praying mantis sort of things are intimidating. No problem. Uh, but yeah. Blame your uh, do we need to cook? No, we don't. Someone just leveled up, though. That sounds nice. Okay, uh, before we go across to that bridge there, I just like to sort of poke around and explore. Because I also want to try and find the, uh, the obelisk that helps us uh, navigate around a little bit more easily. This and it's kind of nice to kind of just BS around the, uh, the world a little bit. It gives us a chance to talk about stuff outside of the game, uh, such as the question of the day. So, I don't know exactly how this is going to appear on the layout, um, but my question is, like, what is your favorite non-video uh, like video game type of gaming? If that makes sense. Um, so... Obviously, there, you know, video games is, is one way to kind of immerse yourself in sort of this escapism, you know, play through another world and uh, go on these, you know, great adventures and have all these great stories and stuff. But there's lots of other means this is a uh, of doing situation. that. Um, both, you know, like that are you know, varied from like very serious to uh, very, uh, I don't know, very light, I guess. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say like is... That. Overconfidence breeds oh, carelessness. sorry. You need I don't to particularly focus. care what these people have to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're, like, lecturing me. Um, you know, like, some people, you know, they like game, like uh, playing video games, but they also like to do, like, LARPing, you know, live-action role-playing and things like that. Or uh, maybe they really like to play board games. You know, there's lots of different board games and card games that you can play with your friends. Um, you know, there's all sorts of, like, sort of, like, fantasy board games. But there's also just, you know, sort of more casual stuff, like, uh, cards against the and things like that, that are really fun. Or, um, what are some of the other ones that I don't know. I can't remember what all of them are called. And, so uh, if you guys are watching, please just share to, uh, share all of your, uh, different favorites down in the description. Um, I do like Cards Against Humanity, that's, uh, quite a bit of fun. And, uh, I've got many of the expansions. My girlfriend's been really good about getting me, uh, those expansions for different holidays and things like that. So, we've got quite a collection. Um, I'm a big fan of, like, tabletop RPGs. So, one thing that, uh, I've been doing with my girlfriend and a bunch of our friends is playing Dungeons and Dragons. Which, you know, like, oh cool, CJ, like, you have a nerdy game channel where you play Pokemon and other nerdy games. Now you're telling me you're also a D&D player. Well, yeah, sorry, like, that's just the way it is. Um, but if you've ever tried it, it's actually really fun. Um, I didn't think I would really like it at first. Um, my girlfriend was really fun, like, really into it. Who, by the way, is, like, a whole lot, uh, cooler and a whole lot less nerdy than I am. Um, but she wanted to play, and uh, a couple of my friends had also expressed an interest in playing. So I was like, alright, I'll give it a try. 
Uh, but it's really fun. Um, if you're, um, I mean, the, yeah, the role playing is is really, yeah, you know, more than uh, I thought it would be in terms of like how fun it is. And uh, I'm gonna go to this little town down here for a second. Um, I don't think I need to go here right now, but let me just see if there's anything that I can do. Um, actually, no, I know I'm not supposed to be here yet, so let me just cut around. We'll come back here maybe at the end of this episode, is what I'm expecting. But um, it's just nice to have that place marked on the map. And then also there's a, a little spot up here that we can try and check out, but I know for sure we're going to get rejected here. Um, but I'll just do it just to show to you guys. Uh, human Ranch, better not get too close. Alright, so we're going to turn around. And there looks like to be, at the little intersection here, be a little sanctuary or something that we can go to. But yeah, it's really fun. And at least in Dungeons and Dragons, there's also a really big combat element. Uh, that's uh, it's very heavily designed for combat. Um, so it's very strategic, and you know there's class optimization and uh, all you know sorts of battle strategy. Very tactical. If you're into uh, sort of tactical RPGs, Dungeons and Dragons is actually really good for that. Um, and it's nice too because you know you really have the ability to use your imagination and uh, do whatever you want. Like yeah, you're given a set of skills and spells and things like that that you can cast, but there's really no limit to the number of things that you can do. Uh, you know, as long as it seems, like, reasonable within, you know, like, what a, a human can actually do, or, or whatever species you are, whatever race you are. Oh, hang on, I gotta interrupt. Please, help me save everyone. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, this is the assassin who tried to kill us, like, two episodes ago. Hey, what are you praying for? So I can save everyone. Uh... Well, there's a nice thought. Sh shut up! My name's Lloyd. What's yours? What? Lloyd? Ah, I'm Colette. I'm still inexperienced as a Chosen, but I promise I'll do my best and re regenerate the world. I never asked you your names! Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm- I'm trying to kill you! I know, but if we can just talk, I'm sure we can come to an understanding. Are you listening to me? Uh, I'm listening, but, um, Miss Assassin. It's Sheena. Sheena Fujibayashi. Sheena, you are praying. Praying makes one's heart grow. I pray too, so I'm sure we can understand each other. I, I was praying that I'd be able to kill you. Forget it, I lost my concentration. You'd better be ready next time. So, yep, that, uh, that happened. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, yeah, if you also like, you know, sort of doing these, like, tactical games, uh, I do highly recommend it. Um, you know, and it, there's also more than just Dungeons and Dragons. Hey, that hairstyle's the same as mine! There's lots of other RPGs that you can play. Um, there's a bunch of different rule sets made by, you know, tens of different companies. Um, and there's also uh, rules for different popular like fantasy universes, like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. Um, and some other sort of like niche ones. Like there's one for the uh, the Brandon Sanderson books. I can't remember. Uh, Mistborn, I think is the series. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I already talked to that guy. Okay, so there's nothing else going on here actually. Um, did I miss anything down here? I don't think I did. It was just that bridge. Okay, so we can safely turn around and not feel bad about missing anything. I think just a little bit north of this is where we need to go. So those are all really fun to, to play. And uh, what's really cool is that with the uh, popularity of things like Twitch streaming, uh, it's become very popular for people to uh, sort of live stream their games. And I'm sure it wouldn't be all that interesting to watch them. But there's a bunch of shows that have a bunch of, uh, I wouldn't quite call them like Surrette celebrities, but you know, just like anime personalities in general that are really uh, where they play. There's a show on uh, Geek and Sundry called Critical Role where they play. Uh, Will Wheaton also hosted a show where they did some tabletop gaming. 
and uh, Wizards of the Coast, uh, who the, are the creators of D&D, have some pretty popular series that they do. They have uh, Dice Camera Action, uh, which is run by Chris Perkins, who is the head of storytelling, more or less, at D&D. All right, let's go! Um, Kind of on that note too, um, one of my favorite things to do, or one of the things I've enjoyed the most, uh, with the most experience I've had the most the past year was going to the Space Beast and uh, seeing the live game that was run by Chris Perkins. Uh, the guys from Penny Arcade were uh, players, and uh, it was very, very fun uh, to watch them do that. And we were in a, a, a hall with like. Um, I don't know, like quickly. 10 or 15,000 people. I don't know, I might be exaggerating. I might not have played with that many, but there's a lot of people. Um, and it was just so cool to see everybody come together. Like, I always felt like tabletop games were really cool. I don't know, like, I was, like, not like an embarrassing part of the community, but, like, it's okay to, like, say, oh, yeah, I love playing, like, Call of Duty or whatever, but it's, like, never the same when you're talking about uh, tabletop gaming. People are like, oh, that's really weird. But it's becoming a much more acceptable form of gaming. Like it's not just reserved for like the neck beards and like dudes who smell like Let's Doritos. Get this over with um, it's something that um, all types of people can play. Uh, all all you know, men and women and all the communities, all sorts of uh, backgrounds. Um, you know, it's cool too because you know. It, it sounds cheesy, but, you know, you can be whoever you want to be in these games. You know, you can play, you know, a, a wealthy noble who has uh, all this influence and whatever, all this power you can play. Uh, the street urchin who's, you know, had them on their own their whole life. You can play someone who's, like, great with the ladies, whatever you like to do. Uh, there's tons and tons of options. So, if you've, like, never thought about playing it, or, like, you thought about playing it, but you thought it was, like, a little too dorky, uh, I definitely recommend you try it. Um, it's a little tough to, to get started, because you really need a dungeon master to, to, in order to get going. And if you haven't played before, it's really hard to do a dungeon master for the first time. You really need something to do. But, uh, don't be surprised if you probably find some people in your sort of like, random school. And there's a whole great Just community of uh, gamers online who can help you get started or uh, that you can even join their game. There's uh, cool websites like Roll20.net and also uh, Fantasy Grounds, I think is it's called, uh, where you can uh, play uh, on the internet. You don't even have to play like on the table. So definitely check this out if you guys are interested. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do the skit, and then uh, we have made it to our destination. What's up, Colette? You already full? Are you not feeling well? No, it's not that. I was just thinking. It's a lot to eat. Really? Looks like you've actually got less than normal. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll make sure to finish it. Kind of an odd skit, but... Who knows? It could be important. Uh, Hakonisia Peak. Alright, so the word on the street was that the Chosen were going to sell the Book of Regeneration to the dude inside this house, so let's see what he has to say. He's got a little clown nose, he looks kind of creepy. Here we go. If you're looking for road passes, it's a hun it's a hundred million gold per person. What? What kind of price is that? That's robbery! Silence, boy! I'll have you know, I hate men! That means even those on pilgrimages with the Church of Martell can't make it past here. Oh my, you're quite the beauty. If you're on a pilgrimage, you should join in the Asgard Ruin Tour at the Palma Costa Travel Agency. Hey, you're in cahoots with the travel agency. Hey, oh, shut up. If you don't have any money, then get out of here. Hmm, that's a very old scripture. Oh, my beautiful maiden, you have a good eye. This here is something I purchased from the Chosen of Mana. It's a very rare scripture that contains the legend of Spiritua. I've been wanting to get my hands on this for ages. I'd just about given up on Dor ever letting go of it. It was very fortunate that the Chosen herself was willing to part with it. Let us have that! 
At least, just let us look at it for a bit. You've got to be kidding. Why should I have to show it to you people? Oh, come on. Colette is the cho- <laughs> Stop. We'll be the ones treated as imposters. The cho- The Chosen of Mana's devout follower. She wishes to view articles the Chosen has possessed. Colette is a faithful believer and is versed in the language of the angels. Ah, yes, that's right. I've studied it since I was a child. Well, if it's that important to you, the Maiden in Beauty can have a look at it. More than anything, I want the Spiritua statue that is displayed in the House of Salvation. If you bring me that, I'll consider showing you the book. You're so stingy. Like, it costs you anything to just let us look at it. Shut up! Get the heck out of here if you don't have any money and don't have the statue. <laughs> what a crook. And, uh, it's so funny. He's like a complete, like, womanizer and man-hater. And he's, like, this kind of, like, balding, clown-nosed man. Oh, man, these Japanese games are just so odd. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, you don't know? You all would be better off waiting here for a while. No matter what, you should stay away from Palma Costa. Did something happen in Palma Costa? It seems the designs are headed for Palma Costa. What? Plus, they say the leader of the nearby human ranch, Magnius, is with them. Magnius. I'm going to wait here until things cool down. You should hold off on going anywhere for a while, too. Seems like we need to go to Palma Costa. Those designs! If they cause trouble in Palma Costa, they're going to pay. Lloyd, calm down. What's wrong? When I left Asalia, I swore I'd never let the designs have their way again. Losing your cool will only lead to poor decisions. Oh, just shut up! Lloyd, your feelings are always honest and pure. Nevertheless, that's not a reason to ignore the advice of your comrades. But I... We are worried about Palma Costa, but we're also worried about you, understand? I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have acted like that. That's better. But I am, am I the one to whom you should be apologizing? Kratos, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I take no offense. At any rate, we should head for Palma Costa. We'll move quickly, but carefully. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna head on out, and I'm gonna take a quick drink. Okay. All set. Now we have to go all the way back down. And we get to do another skit. What's that? I couldn't even read that word. There wasn't enough time. What, what is it, Professor? I can't believe you know the word avaricious. I think that's how it's said. And you used it properly, too. That's fantastic. You, you don't have to praise me that much. But it's a miracle. <laughs> You're making me blush. Lloyd, she's making fun of you. Shut up! Ow. This, this group likes to hit each other a lot. Now we can go ahead and ride Noish all the way back down. Which seems, uh, I guess, fine to me. On the way back up, maybe I'll fight in some battles. But uh, I'm ready just to get back to... Or I'll fight this guy because he seems really eager. Let's get started. Um... Yeah, we have to go back to Palma Costa and see what the designs are doing. We did see that they have the Human Ranch nearby. And as uh, you can see the last episode, we did run into some designs in the town. Who, uh, sort of made some, some less than, uh, subtle threats against, um, one of the citizens of the town. A girl by the name of Trumplot. Ooh, who leveled up? Was that... I don't think it was Lloyd. An adult sense of taste. Alright, let's see what this is. Say, Colette, has your sense of taste changed lately? Hmm? Ah, I mean, you started even, even eating those green peppers you hated so much. Oh, yeah. They just don't taste so bitter anymore. You've acquired an adult sense of taste. Maybe. But you aren't eating as much as you used to, either. That's great that you've become less picky, but you still need to make sure to eat. Yeah, thanks. 
But I'm okay, so don't worry. That's the second food-related skit. I mean, I, I suppose I've been cooking in the battles. The, I guess those skits get triggered um, at uh, quote-unquote mealtime. But uh, sort of the same comments. They're both they're both kind of kind of odd. You know that Colette's not eating a lot. All right, we are almost to Palma Costa. Let's fight this one guy just so we can say Let's we did a little bit of fighting along the way. Because you know, we do need to do a little bit of fighting just to keep the level up. We don't have to do too much grinding. There's no kind of grinding out for the game, especially when you get into different dungeons and stuff. So it should be fine. Do you think I need to give Rain a, uh... Do you think I need to give her an orange gel? She's a little low on the uh, top of the on the TV. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to decide if I should try and put the level in the party. I think I like this party for the most part. Uh, because I like having the most of the healers. Rain and Kratos both know uh, healing spells. And uh, Gina's leveled up, so that's great. But Kratos is also a good frontline fighter. And I've set his AI so that he prioritizes being on the front lines and then healing uh, when the time comes. So we can now hop off of this and go into Palma Costa. And we'll see what happens. Alright, so far so good. Nothing too dramatic. Uh, do we need to go into the item shop? Let's see. There's nobody here. I mean, I think I know why, but... Let's see. Lord Magnus approaches. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> it's Magnus from the Eastern Ranch. That's Lord Magnus, Vermin. This woman defied the wishes of the great Lord Magnus and refused to provide us with supplies. Therefore, while the designated death count has been exceeded, we have been granted orders to carry out this woman's execution. Damn it! Why isn't the city militia doing anything to stop this? Most of them are out on training exercises right now. The designs must have waited for this opportunity. Slimy jerks. Mom! Stop right there, woman. If you interfere, We'll make you suffer in ways that will leave you begging for death! You think Governor General Dorr will let you get away with this? Dorr? <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, woman! No! You disgusting little vermin! Stop right there! <laughs> Lloyd, stop. Do you want to turn this city into the next Isalia? It's not the same. This city doesn't have a non-aggression treaty with the Tessians. How can we go on a quest to regenerate the world if we can't even save the people standing right in front of us? Lloyd's right. I won't just stand here and let this happen. You! You're wanted criminal number 0074, Lloyd Irving. Well, now. So you're that boy with the x sphere <laughs> This is perfect! After I take that x sphere from you, they'll make me the leader of the five Grand Cardinals! Get them! Amateurs. Genius is such a cocky Damn little it. brat. You worthless idiots! Enough of this! I'll take care of this woman first! No! What the? Ugh. 
Let us respect the wishes of the Chosen. The, the Chosen? She is the Chosen? The Chosen herself has come to save us? Do you all realize what you're doing? If you defy the Desions, this city may be attacked just like Isalia. That's right. And I know full well what I'm doing. I won't repeat the same mistake again. I'll destroy them all. The entire ranch! Lloyd, that's insanity. They're only after Colette and me anyway. And besides, we have the Chosen on our side. The savior who will regenerate the world. Right, Colette? Yep. I'm going to fight for everyone's sake. Oh, Lady Collect, the great Chosen of Mana. I give up. You're all hopeless. But I'll help, since I'd be worried about you otherwise. Professor Sage, thanks. Damned little... Enough of this crap! I'm leaving them to you. Get rid of them! I love how they can just teleport. How dare you lay a hand on Lord Magnius! You're all dead! Alright, let's take care of these scrubs. Don't get too comfortable. I like the way Lloyd's talking. Let's go wipe out that stupid thing. Of course, these guys are like super easy. Don't overdo it. I don't think they have a chance to get any spells on me. Or do anything. They're going down. And there we go. And we're even gonna cook to celebrate. Nope, we failed at making the rice ball. That's so sad. <laughs> no rice ball for us. Thank you. Thank you so much for saving my mom. I don't know what I would have done if they'd murdered my mom as well. As well? My husband volunteered in Governor General Dor's army and was killed in a battle against the designs. And my mother was taken to the ranch. It was Grandma that originally founded our shop. We have to protect it. Not just for ourselves, but also for Grandma's sake. For when she returns. That's also the reason why I work at the Church of Martell Travel Agency. To help support our item shop. But it's not like I believe in Martell or anything. Sugar, how can you say such a thing? I know. I know. I'm grateful for the Chosen, but Martell didn't protect Dad or Grandma. Even this time. It wasn't Martell, but the Chosen and her companions that saved Mom. How can anyone believe in a goddess that sleeps while we suffer? I understand, but I still think Martell exists. You think? I'm sure of it. She exists inside you and me. Well, if the Chosen says so, then I'll at least try to believe. Anyway, I better get going soon. It's almost time for the next Asgard pilgrimage. Are there really people that want to go on a trip right after what just happened here? It's after events like this that both those with and without faith feel the need to go on a journey in search of salvation. That pretty much sums it up. Well then, thank you all very much. All right. So... <laughs> Had a pretty interesting conversation there. Some people don't believe in Martell, which sounds familiar. And uh, had a discussion about Marble's item shop. Makes you wonder if there's a connection. What is it, Lloyd? I think there are things we must learn in order to fight powerful enemies. What? Lloyd, you will grow stronger. Huh? It is easy to continue recklessly swinging a sword, and that is probably enough to take care of your average enemy. But it won't serve you when faced with a truly strong opponent. You, Lloyd, are in the midst of realizing that. Therefore, you will undoubtedly grow even stronger. Grow strong, Lloyd. Battle tips was added to the training manual. So where is this training manual? Because I found a thing at the end of last episode that I wanted to look up as well. Is it in here? Training manual, yes. Yeah, compound X skills is what I wanted to look at. When equipping multiple X skills, certain combination of X skills will yield compound X skills. That doesn't really help. That's what I really wanted to look up. But here's this battle tips. Linking special attacks. It is possible to link a level 1 special attack to a level 2 or level 3. Thus, it is possible to create even more powerful and varied combinations of attacks. Effective attributes. 
The higher the strength, the higher the damage done. Great. Uh, some spells and special skills are elemental in nature. Uh, over limits. Guard break. Okay. So, not a whole lot going on. That's fine. So, I don't know quite what we're supposed to do now. Uh, Palma Coaster's future. Let's look at the skit. Damn those designs! Why do they do such horrible things? But I'm glad nothing really bad happened to Coco or the people of the city. Guys, as things stand now, do you think they'll attack Palmacosa again? Yeah, I've been thinking about that myself. If this turns into another Asalia... You knew that when you saved Coco, though. It may sound heartless, but we must focus on the journey of regeneration. Did I make another mistake? Palma Costa has a militia. Even if we had not fought, surely it would have been only a matter of time before the town stood up on their own. Even still, maybe I was acting irresponsibly. But Chocolat and Coco and everyone were grateful to you, Lloyd. And besides, if you hadn't done anything, I think I would have fought by myself. Colette, thanks. Yeah, that is very sweet. Do we need to... No, we don't need to rest up. I think we're good. Let's save our money. We are up to about 2,500 gold, which is pretty nice. Oh, this person uh, lets us fast travel? Yes, sure. Thanks to you, I'm in your debt. I'll be happy to return the favor anytime. Yeah, I don't know if we can... No, we, uh, no, we can't quite go this far yet. Chosen one. Everyone. I have a message from Dor. He would like you to temporarily postpone the journey of regeneration. What is this about? A Church of Martell pilgrimage tour guide has been kidnapped by the designs. In light of this, Dor has decided that this is the time to gather Palmacosa's forces and launch an attack on the human ranch controlled by Magnus. How is that related? We would like you to rescue the kidnapped tour guide in concert with our attack. Who is this kidnapped tour guide? Her name is Chocolat. Chocolat? Oh, no. Chosen One, please help us. Lloyd, let's help them. Of course we're gonna do it. Somehow, I thought you were going to say that. Of course, we can't just leave her. Thank you. Neil will inform you of the details once you reach the ranch. Thank you so much for your help. Alright, well, let's make a Yui. Uh, Mystery of the Impostors. Those fakes are totally copying us. I suppose that would make their ignoble leader Lloyd. Ah ha ha, yeah, he's just like him. And that girl would be Colette. And the magic user would be me. Oh, then the one who looks like a big ape is... Genus? <laughs> no, it's gotta be Kratos. <laughs> He's not too, uh, he's not too flattered by that. Alright, let's hop on our, uh, our friend here, go to the human ranch. It's about time. Lloyd wants to wreck some shit. He wants to go destroy this human ranch. Which does seem to be just on the other side here. You have to follow this path here, and we'll be there in just a second. I think it's on the other side of this little mountain. Uh, yes. So that didn't take very long. Hop off of the dog, and here we go. They are out in full force. The second ranch. L Lloyd? Yeah, we've seen this before. So, Isalia's wasn't the only human ranch. I don't want to see any more victims like Marble. Yeah, we don't need any more victims. Let's go, Genus! Okay, so where do we go? Over here, I guess. Chosen one, please wait. Neil, we've heard Chocolat's been kidnapped. Yes, I wish to speak with you regarding that. Please come this way. It doesn't sound like you have very good news for us. Alright. I would like you all to just go ahead and leave the Palma Costa region. But if we do that, what will happen to Chocolat? Yeah, we're supposed to work in conjunction with the Palma Costa army to save, save Chocolat, right? No, 
That's... So it is a trap. Of the several possibilities, it looks like the worst one came true. Kratos and Professor, what are you talking about? It was a mystery that the designs would simply leave a city with an army alone. Yes, exactly. Choosing not to crush the seeds of Rosellian, or, or excuse me, of rebellion, must mean they are not a threat. They are left alone simply because they have no real power, or perhaps because they are in fact beneficial. It is as you say. Dor is working with the designs to lead the Chosen into a trap. Why would he do such a thing? He didn't used to be like this. He always thought of the well-being of the people of the city. Even five years ago, when he lost his wife, Clara, he swore to fight against the designs. Then why? I don't know. At any rate, entering the ranch now will put the Chosen in danger. Leave Chocolat to me and please, go on your way. Please regenerate the world as soon as possible. Indeed, it would be best to abandon the situation here for world regeneration. No! I can't just ignore this! Colette's right. If we leave things as they are now, Palma Costa may be destroyed just like Asalia. You think so too, don't you, Lloyd? Yes, what you say is true. But I still wish to side with Kratos. If you don't want to see cities destroyed, you should avoid all contact with the designs. No, that's not right! Regenerating the world and saving the people in front of us are not exclusive of each other. That's what I think. If that's how you feel, Colette, then we do not have any right to stop you. The only one who has the right to make decisions on this journey is you, the Chosen One. Is that alright with you, Lloyd? That was my intention from the beginning. Remember what I said? I'm going to destroy them all. Still, it's alright. Colette is saying this is what she wants. Now then, we have two courses we can take. The first one is to go ahead and infiltrate the ranch and rescue Chocolat and the other captives. Now, that thing, now that things have come to this, if we leave the ranch alone, it will surely result in a second Asalia. Our second option is to confirm Dor's true motives. If he has planned a trap, then he knows the layout of the ranch well. Let's talk to him for a bit. What are you going to do to Dor? You'd better not ask that. Rain's punishment is painful. <laughs> Rain's been smacking Genus and Lloyd so much. Thinking logically, dealing with Dor first is the correct choice. What do you think, Lloyd? Yeah, this is the right thing to do. Let's return to Palma Costa. We'll hear what Dor has to say first. Yeah. But we well, let's save Chocolat as soon as we can. I'm sure she's scared and lonely by herself. My, even Lloyd makes rational decisions sometimes. So it seems. Well then, let's go. What should I? Stay here. We're gonna put the squeeze on your commander. It's better if you don't see it. Please watch over the status of the ranch from here. Alright. You know, the, all the times that I've played through this game, I don't think I've ever done the, uh, the alternative option. So I wonder what would happen if we do that. I might have to look that up afterwards and see if it actually gives you a slightly different story. Or if uh, they just end up scolding you and they're like, no, this is what we have to do and this is what we're going to do. Alright, let's go fight this thing. We might not be able to resolve all of this this episode. Because I do have to stop. Alright. Uh, cook? Yeah, let's do it. Paint another rice ball. We might be uh, running out of rice ball ingredients, but that's okay. Okay, we'll go to here. I do want to, yeah, maybe try and go do a little shopping. This is not the right way. And uh, we should have enough time to go talk to Governor General Dor. And see what he has to say. He seems so nice! He seemed so good. What happened? What happened? I feel like I'm taking the long way around, but that's okay. Um, defeat, um, yeah, uh, you know what? I don't feel like, no, we should do the skit. That Magnus is a barbarian. 
I couldn't have put it better myself. He's trying to rule everything through brute force. And the power he's using to do it isn't even his. It comes from his X-Sphere. That bastard. I'm going to make him pay. Even that man is a living being. Defeating Magnus means taking a life. So what, we should just stand by and let him take out his retribution on the people of Palma Costa? No. What I'm saying is, to kill your enemy means to bear the responsibility for that life. And you must never forget that. To bear the responsibility for life. Yes, you're right. It seems I get excited a little too easily. I'll be careful. But you quickly realize it and repent. So you're still fine. And then he quickly forgets, too. Hey, don't butt in! Ow. <laughs> Seriously, they all, like, love to hit each other. It's so funny. Uh, can we get out of here without getting attacked? Maybe. Yeah, skillfully dodge. Cool. Oh, nope. Here we go. We are very close. I can see it from here. Hopefully there's no troops or anything already here. I don't exactly remember what happens at this point. So uh, we're just going to find out together. And oh, we need to hop off of the dog. And we're good to go. And uh, yeah, I do want to... We have a little bit of gold that we can spend. Let's go up here for a moment. I want to get some more cooking ingredients. If possible. Don't tell Lloyd. What are we telling Lloyd? Chinus, you don't look well. Are you okay? Ah, sorry. I was just thinking about how I was supposed to go to the school, and well, you know. It's too bad. You really wanted to study, didn't you? Yeah, but it's okay. Participating in the world regeneration isn't exactly something everybody gets to do. I'm sorry for getting you mixed up in something like this. What are you talking about? Lloyd and I are just tagging along. You don't have to worry about us. Thanks, Genus. Um, don't tell Lloyd about this, okay? He was already burdened enough with what happened at the village. I don't want him to feel responsible for me, too. Yes, I understand. Uh, Genus is a good friend. That's nice. Uh, no, this is not where I wanted to go. I need to go to you. Because you've got some foodstuffs. Um, and you've got some rice that we can buy. Uh, we don't really need much else, right? I mean, we can put some other things on our uh, rice ball, but I'm not sure that we need to. What is the cheapest seafood that we can buy? Looks like shrimp. Let's buy three, sh four shrimps and a tuna. Okay. Cool. I don't think I need to buy... Well, I guess I could buy some armor, right? It's the weapon shop. Here's the armor shop. Uh, we could get some chainmail for Kratos. That might be nice. Uh, looks like we can get both. Let's get a leather helm and uh, a chainmail. Equip. Give you a leather helm. And then... Give Kratos chain mail. And that should do it for us. We're a little bit low on gold again, so we we'll, won't we'll buy anything else for now. Okay. So we're here at the I guess the Capitol building? The State House? I don't know exactly what you would call it. But uh here we go. There's no one here. I think I hear voices from below. Really? I don't hear anything. There's no one here. We should head down to the basement. Yeah. Actually, you know what I should do? I'm going to find a save point. Just because that seems prudent. I haven't saved in a little while, and... It seems worth doing. Hope I'm not giving anything away here. Alright, save point found. And again, I think we're okay on uh we're okay on health and stuff. We don't need to sleep. Okay, here we go. Uh 
we're going back in, and we're gonna go downstairs to the prison, is what they had said. Here we go. When will my wife, uh, when will Clara return to her original form? Not yet. You still haven't paid us enough gold. You've been paying us less and less. This is the best I can do. The tolls, the municipal taxes, the offerings to the Church of Martell. There's nowhere left to squeeze more money from. Well, I suppose this'll do for today. I'm sure Lord Magnius will remove the demon seed depending on your next contribution. Father? Just a, a little while longer. Just a little more and, and Clara will be back to normal. I'll raise the fees on the pilgrimages and... What's the meaning of this? Oh, what's the matter? You look like you just saw a ghost. Um, Lloyd, that's a really cliched line. Shut up, Genus. <laughs> what are you doing here? Neil, where's Neil? I'm afraid Neil's not here. So, Neil betrayed me. What's wrong with your wife? Has she been taken hostage or something? Hostage? Don't make me laugh. If you want to see my wife, she's right here. She's crying. She's crying out in pain. You mustn't call her a monster. You don't mean... That's right! This is what's become of my wife, Clara. So that's why you told everyone she passed away. My father, the previous Governor General, was a fool. Because of his defiant stance against the Desions, they killed him. Then planted the demon seed in my wife as a warning. If I cooperate with them, they will give me the medicine to save her. But that means you're betraying the people of this city! What do I care? We'll never escape the rule of the Desions anyway. Colette will. The Chosen will save the world. The Chosen's journey of world regeneration is not absolute. Don't forget that the last one ended in failure. Besides, the people of this city are satisfied with my way. They just don't know I'm working for the Desions. Shut up. What do you mean, your way? I'm sorry about your wife. But think of all those people who believed in you, only to be sent off to the ranch. Any of them may have wound up just like your wife. Silence, boy. Stop acting like your justice is absolute. Where do you get off? Don't even start spewing the word justice. I hate that word. If you wanted to save your wife, you should have resigned your position as Governor General and searched for a cure, or help, or whatever. You're a worthless jerk who couldn't give up his social status even for his own wife. Lloyd, please stop. Not everyone's strong enough to stand up against the Desions. Please stop this. Colette. What if we go and get the medicine you mentioned? Then you wouldn't have to side with the Desions anymore. You forgive me for what I've done? It's not our place to forgive you. That's up to the people of this city. But I know Martel will forgive you. The goddess Martel is always within you, awaiting your own personal regeneration. Within me? Absurd! <laughs> the goddess Martel would never lend her aid to an inferior human being. What are you doing? How could you do that to your own father? That's a laugh. I am a servant of Pronima, leader of the five grand cardinals who rule over the Desion. I was merely assigned to observe the new human cultivation technique developed by Magnus. There's no way that a superior half-elf such as I could have a fool of a father like this. A uh, fool of a father? Just look at him. He didn't even notice that his own daughter was dead, chasing after medicine that doesn't exist in order to save his monster wife. <laughs> you. How could you? Alrighty, boss fight. Here we go. This isn't our day. We'll uh, have to talk a little bit. <laughs> 
Let's talk a little bit more about how but what went down as soon as we uh, take care of this little boss here. Are you okay? It's definitely not going to be easy, but I do it. It's tough because she doesn't seem to stagger like some of the other enemies, so she's kind of annoying. She's just a little bit, but when she starts casting her spell, I can't interrupt her. But we do it, I think. And that we still have some effect, which is nice. We're ready to uh, load up rain real quick. It's an orange gel. Because she's getting low. And uh, now we're dead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> didn't load up fast enough. There we go. Yeah, Genus, why are you on the front lines? That doesn't make any sense. You need to use another shell on yourself. And, uh, now you're dead. Alright. This is getting out of control. She just turned into a final form. Okay. Are you okay? Okay. 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 I guess if we wanted to know if we're getting close, we could use the magical lens. Um, about 80% done. I am going to use an apple gel on myself. And we're going to keep grinding it. Don't do it. She has really high defense, and she doesn't be doing all that much with these cards. Um, No, Genus, wait. Oh, you should be faster than that. Alright, Genus, you should be okay. You just gotta keep grinding on out. No, and everybody's dead. Holy crap. Okay. Whew, that was close. That was really close. And then we get to heal only two of our people. And we lost so much grade. Oh my. This can't... I'm not even sure if we get experience for the dead people. Oh well. Fine. Then I'll set this monster free and let it kill you. No. Not again. Do I have to kill another innocent victim? Is Kelia safe? Kelia is... Don't worry. It seems your real daughter is fine. Lloyd! I see. You. I your name's Lloyd? Yeah. Professor Sage, please! Help him! That doesn't look good. Please. Please save Chocolat. That poor girl. She was just used as a tool to lure you out. The passcode is 3341. Got it. I know this is a selfish request, but if you somehow find a way to save my wife, please help her return to her human form. When my daughter comes back, I don't want her to be all alone. Okay. I promise. Thank you. Let's get going. Kratos! How can you just say that? Settle down, Lloyd. What is it that we must do now? Rescue Chocolat, then defeat Magnus, the leader of this region. Exactly. Yeah, I know. You're right, I'm sorry. Let's go, Lloyd. Let's defeat the designs. My healing arts cannot even save one single life. Professor Sage, 
Did you say something? No, it's nothing. Okay. Things are pretty heavy. So, it turns out that whole time that Governor General Door was in cahoots with the designs. And that's why this town had been operated the way it had been for so long. Um, they are dead, so we are going to run to the inn, have sleep. Um, I'm not really interested in this skit right now because I am going to end the episode soon. Uh, I might be able to do it at the beginning of the next one. Um, let's see... Yeah, let's sleep, and then save again. What are you doing, Colette? I'm praying for the safety of the people of Silverant. I see. I've always done it my whole life. It feels strange if I don't. You're sure devoted. I guess we shouldn't expect any less from the Chosen. So yeah, again, I'm not sure if I get experience if, they're, uh, if they were unconscious there. But anyway, this is where I'm going to end off the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you leave a sub if you like this series and you'd like to keep up to date. And uh, while you're there, make sure you check out all of my other gaming and Pokemon content. So, until the next time, I will see you all later.